Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I have to share amazing news. I have been holding on to them for quite some time. But it's finally time to let you know that I have designed a new die collection, my first very own die collection with Spellbinders. And of course I have to say a huge thank you to Spellbinders for bringing my dream to life. The collection is called Bird Houses Through the Seasons and you will find six different products in the collection. You will find a set which is perfect for every different season plus a few more products and I'm going to go through them all in detail today. I will share lots of info and tips on what I had in my mind while I was designing this and throughout the next weeks I will be sharing lots of videos with projects so you can see them in action and I will be using them on card making as well as on mixed media. And let's start with a spring set. This includes this whimsical designed house which is quite big and it comes with more dies that you can use to embellish it. Now I'm going to bring in the popular card sizes here. So I have the standard A2 card size, I have the long slimline card as well as the mini one. And remember these are products designed from a card maker for card makers, so I had to make sure that this is going to make a good focal point and work on all popular card sizes. On a slimline card you can always hang it from a branch, you can even have it standing from the bottom and I am going to show you how you can do that in a bit. And also on a mini slimline card you can see that it fits perfectly. Although it is quite big, the width is just the perfect size. But I'm not just a card maker, I always love to create mixed media projects in my art journal. So the size makes a perfect focal point, you can have a branch and hang it from the top, you can still have some uh, empty space to write your code and I am going to share a project like that where I will be using lots of dice from these sets. Now the dies not only cut out the details but they also emboss. I don't know if you can tell that they have a lovely detail on the houses. This has a circle at the center but it's not going to cut it out. If you do want a window then you can fit that circle inside and then it's going to cut out a little window for you or you can have a little bird for example popping through. But let me bring in some cutouts that I have ready made so you can see exactly what we are talking about. So here is the house already cut out. I did cut it out twice so that I can have a different color for the roof. Lots of details such as the tiny little heart which makes it super cute. You will also get a die that cuts out the fence and you can place it down there if you want to. And if you use some inking on the house you will bring the beautiful embossed detail. In this set you will find a die that cuts out a couple of leaves as well as a die that cuts out three different little flowers. Use these flowers to embellish your little birdhouse or if you hang it from a branch you can use the flowers to decorate the branch. Now this is kind of a weird shape but this is a nest and the nest has a slit so you can easily fit inside different elements. They can be flowers, it can be a little birdie, they can add the eggs and we give you an egg on this uh, set so this is perfect both for Easter as well as for any spring card. And notice I have a tiny little heart on the egg, which is actually the heart from the house. So this is the first set, the spring one. And here are a couple of examples that I made. One of the bird houses is standing at the bottom, while another one is hanging from a branch. And in both of these examples, I mixed and matched elements from this die set to get different results. Now the next season is summer and this is one that I adore just because it is so unique. This is a birdhouse but it is a lighthouse at the same time. It cuts and embosses as it has some lovely embossed detail on top of that. And again just like all the rest of the sets the birdhouse fits perfectly on all three different card sizes. So you can see how big it is on a standard card and again you can have it on a slimline card as well. And I will show you examples on these card sizes. Let me grab my die cuts so I can show you exactly what you get with this set. So this birdhouse has a fun element. I absolutely love interactive cards and that's why those doors can be opened. So if you want you can fold them like that or if you don't want you can keep them closed. 
You can have your sentiment at the back if it is quite tiny. You can even have a little birdie peeking through that window. And when you open up, you can reveal the whole birdie. Now, what I like to do with those um, bird houses is to cut it out more than once so that I can cut out bits and pieces from a second color and then stick it on top of the base. This way, I end up having a multicolor birdhouse. Another idea is to cut it out from white cardstock and just use your coloring markers to add color anywhere you like. So here, just to show you an example, I cut out the doors as well as the roof out of blue cardstock and I'm just going to stick it down. And I have a lovely lighthouse without doing any coloring at all. Now let's take a quick look on the rest of the ties that you get on this set. First of all, you get a die that cuts out those wooden sticks. These will have a lovely embossed detail of wood on top of it and you can place them like that, just create the letter T and then you can have your lighthouse on top of that. This is quite long to make it work on a slimline card but you can have it way down and just chop off the excess if you want to fit it inside a standard card size. So this is just another way to make your focal point look longer so that it covers up more space on a slimline card. And let's move on to the rest of the dies. First of all, you will get a die that cuts out an oar. Now, I did cut out two of those and I'm going to show you different ways on how you can use them to embellish your little lighthouse. You can have them at the top. You can have them at the top of the door. You can even uh, um, glue them on the side of the door. Just different ways to create a lighthouse that gives a nautical theme on your card. There is also a die included that cuts out two shapes. One is an anchor and the other one is kind of a um, strange shape. But this is actually the, the light of the lighthouse and you are supposed to stick it like that. In my example here I have it cut out from a silver cardstock. But of course you can go with yellow or any other color. Here is a little anchor. Again you can use that to decorate your little house. Give it a lovely nautical theme. You will also find a die that cuts out a starfish, a shell, this lifesaver, I did cut it out twice so that I can mix white and uh, red. And now the fun part about this lifesaver is that if you don't want to open up the doors, you can have the lifesaver on top of that and it fits exactly the shape of that window, the circle window at the center. Finally, you will find a bird. I guess this is a seagull that you can use on your little scene. And here are a couple of examples on both a slimline as well as a standard card size. And you can see how I mixed and matched elements. I even used the seashell as well as the um, starfish on the branch. You don't always have to use leaves and flowers on your branches. I also have the anchor as well as the lifesaver hanging from the bottom of uh, the first card so that I make the design even longer to fit better on a slimline card. And now let's move on to the fall set. This time it is quite longer, the birdhouse, and again it fits nicely on all three different popular card sizes. Again, a nice big long focal point that really makes a statement on a card. Now this is not going to cut out a window, you do have a window at the top. If you want a second window, then you can use this die that fits right inside that hole. It is going to give you a square window and just the fun part about these sets, just because I designed them all together, you can mix and match elements. I made sure that all the houses have a similar proportion, so you can example uh, use the fence on other bird houses and of course all the different elements like leaves, flowers, branches, etc. But uh, you can also mix and match the windows inside. So you can have a circle or a rectangle window in different houses if you want. If you have more than one set, you can always mix and match. Just keep that in mind. So here is the birdhouse ready cut out. If you ink it up, you will get more of that detail, the embossed detail. Now you will have shutters. The shutters can be cut out and you can stick them on the inside of the window. You can also cut out the house a second time if you want to have a different color of a roof. And since I have the shutters closed, I do have a little opening at the bottom since I used that rectangle die. Now I'm going to try to catch the light for you so you can see the embossed detail. If you do some inking with a blending tool, it's going to bring that detail more to life. 
Now here is another example where I used the shutters, but this time I kept them open. I'm just showing you different ways that you can use the dies that I had on my mind while I was designing this set, but I'm sure that you can come up with even more. Now there are two dies that you can combine to create this sunflower, and you can add even more layers to make it fluffier. Leaves are really important for fall, so I have four different designs of leaves that you can mix and match. You will also find a die that cuts out a pumpkin, as well as a die that helps you create a little acorn. Also keep in mind that you can just use the leaves, the acorn and the pumpkin to create kind of a wreath and have a sentiment at the center for a fall card. Just because you get a birdhouse in a set doesn't mean that you have to use it on every project when you use this set. And here are a couple of examples, again on a slimline as well as on a standard card. Notice on the first card the birdhouse looks smaller because it has chopped off a part of it. Don't be afraid to do that to get more out of your dies. And I have the house standing on the ground using the dies from the summer set. For the second one you can see I have it hanging from a branch. And for embellishing the branch I did use the leaves as well as the acorns. And let's move on to the winter one. Again, a birdhouse with an area where you can cut out a window if you want to. A completely different shape this time, looks like a raindrop. And at the same time it does cut out and embosses. This time the window is uh, shaped as a heart, but again remember that you can interchange those uh, windows in between those houses if you have more than one set. Everything fits inside another. If you get one set, you can make a birdhouse work for every season, but this one specifically works for winter because it has that window that is a heart, so you can make it for Valentine's Day as well. It gives you that uh, die that cuts out snow banks that you can have at the top of your roof. You can even use those snow banks on a branch. There is a branch included in this uh, set, which gives you an extra element to play with. You can have your birdhouses hanging from there. If you look at the die that cuts out the branch closely, you will find that it gives you both the branch as well as the leaves. So I did cut it out twice, one out of green cardstock to chop off the separate leaves and one out of uh, brown so that I can have the basic branch. But you can also chop off completely the leaves to make it look like a winter branch without leaves at all. Really versatile. Now you will get lots of dyes that are perfect for Christmas uh, cards. So you will get your holly berries as well as the mistletoe. And here you will find that you get a tiny little circle that works perfectly for both the um, red dots as well as the white dots on the mistletoe. In this set you get many basic dies for Christmas that you can use again and again on different projects as well. It doesn't have to be combined always with a birdhouse. You get a die to create this dimensional bow that you can use to embellish your house. You can have it hanging from the bottom, you can place it on top of your uh, birdhouse. So many ways that you can use that. You'll also get uh, a little heart from the inside of the window. Here is a poinsettia. You can, make, uh, you can cut out more of them to make it look fluffier. You get the die that cuts out this bell. These are two dies actually, one for the bell and the other one for the little uh, circle underneath. And I like to have this uh, usually hanging from my birdhouse just to make the design longer so that it fits better on a slimline card. And I know for sure that you will have lots of fun playing with all the different elements. And here again are a couple of examples on how I used the winter set. So again, I do have one on a standard card size, another one on a slim line, so you can see that it works for both sizes. One is standing on the ground, on the snow, and the other one is hanging from the branch. And notice that I did cut out holly berries and placed it on top of the branch to make it more Christmassy. But you really cannot have birdhouses without birdies. And this is another set that I designed. This is the set that I used to create the birdies for all the previous examples that I showed you. But you can use the set on its own. You get six birdies, a branch as well as leaves. So I'm going to take those out. All you do is cut out the branch from uh, brown cardstock and then the leaves and you can stick them on top to embellish them. 
You can even embellish it with tiny little flowers if you have them. There is a die on the spring die set as well that fits perfectly on this branch. Now I did cut out all the birdies, there are six of them and they are all different. These are dies that cut out more than one shape, so you will get the basic shape of the bird as well as separate wings and bellies. And I did use different colored cardstock here, so you can see exactly which parts are separate. There are birds that look on the left, there are birds that look on the right, others that look like they are flying, so you can mix and match depending on the project that you are going for. So for example, you can see the bird it looks like it's flying there, you can have some standing on the branch. Just because this set doesn't only include birds but also a branch and leaves, it can work as a standalone die set, so you can create lovely scenes on the sky. You do get also a couple of feet that you can use for your birdies if you want to. But if you do get one of the bird houses or more than one, then this is the perfect companion because you can create so many different scenes and you can play with them throughout the year. Again, these were designed all together, so they are made to mix and match, and the proportions are perfect for having those birdies inside the windows and the doors. You can have them pop them out from there, you can have them picking from one side, you can even have them standing on top of the birdhouse. And look how cute they are inside the lighthouse. You can see from the window the face, but when you open up the door you can see the full reveal. And again, here is how it looks on the spring house and on the winter one. So you can have birdies inside the house, you can have birdies standing on top of it or flying away from that. You can even have some standing inside the nest or looking at each other. I did share examples using the birds with the bird houses in the previous photos, but here are a couple more examples on how I used the birds just with the branch. And finally, you cannot have a complete collection without some sentiments. This is a small sentiment stamp set that will give you many sentiments that you can work with throughout the year. They match perfectly with all the sets, but they can be used for any project. They are all a combination of a typed along with a handwritten font, and I absolutely love this combination. So first, you get have an amazing day, perfect to be used throughout the year for your card making. You will also get wishing you a fun holiday season, which is the sentiment that you get for your Christmas cards. A perfect sentiment for summer cards. Spread your wings and fly, perfect along with the amazing day, can be used throughout the year. This is perfect for art journaling as well. So thankful for you, great throughout the year, but also works for Thanksgiving cards at fall. Be my tweet heart, this is perfect for Valentine's Day, but if you want to send some love throughout the year, it can be used as well. And finally, a birdie told me it's your birthday because you cannot have a sentiment stamp set without a birthday sentiment. This is meant to be small, just 7 sentiments, but really versatile that can be used throughout the year. And I think it is the perfect companion for the birdies and the bird houses. So that was the whole release that I designed for Spellbinders, I'm super excited, I will be coming back of course with projects so that you can see all these products in action. You will also get the chance to see more projects from other talented designers in a diversity of styles. And of course I cannot wait to see what you are going to do with them. If you do get any of the products from this collection and create a project, make sure to tag me on Instagram, I would love to see what you make. Everything is available as we speak and you will find links down below in the description area. You can get these individually or as a bundle if you like. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of my new collection. A big thank you to Spellbinders for bringing a dream to life and an even bigger thank you to all of you for supporting me all these years. Without you this wouldn't be possible. Thank you all so much and I'll see you all next time.